The BCCI board now has a completely new look, a new president to a new secretary. The board has got, well, a complete overhaul. The three men you see on your screen right now from the core of the BCCI's new board. Jagmohan Dalmia was elected president, unopposed, while Anurag Thakur and Anirudh Chaudhary take key posts as secretary and treasurer, respectively. Dalmia's case was just a formality as he was the only one who filed a nomination for the top post. The Kolkata man returns at the helm of affairs after a decade. Joining him is Anurag Thakur, the new secretary of the BCCI. Anurag Thakur beat Sanjay Patel for the post. Anurag was backed by the Pawar camp while Patel had Srinivasan's backing. At the end, Anurag edged his rival out by just one vote. And the board also sees a new treasurer in the form of Anirudh Chaudhary. He defeated Rajiv Shukla for the post, while Amitabh Chaudhary was elected as the joint secretary by a casting vote. And here's a look at all the vice presidents from different zones. CK Khanna represents the central zone. TC Matthews for the west. Gautam Roy will be in charge of the east zone. Ganga Raju will take charge of affairs in the south zone. And finally, Motilal Nehru is the vice president from the North Zone. Well, the BCCI elections were fiercely contested with intense lobbying and last-ditch efforts from both camps. But what really is at stake here? Well, the newly constituted body of the BCCI has the power to take all major decisions as far as functioning of cricket in India is concerned. This is the panel which will decide the new batch of selectors. Selectors who will pick the team that represents India internationally and captain and coach of the Indian side. Also, the all-important Future Tours program, which decides when and where Team India will play, will be finalized by this new board. And finally, the financial might of the richest cricket body in the world, the BCCI, rests in the hands of these new members of the Board of Control for Cricket.